<laughs> good day, good day. <laughs> How the hunk are you? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dano, and we are going to take a look at one of my uh, newest and latest upcoming favorites. That's right. We're going to take a look at Matchbox and the 1965 Land Rover Gen 2 model. That's right. That's right. If you guys don't remember, it was the year 2019 when we saw the re-release of what was the Matchbox number 12 Safari. Well, there was a couple of little bit different changes, but uh, this is what they gave us back in 19, uh, 2019. Really excited. This was um, something new that Matchbox um, hadn't done um, in forever uh, that I know of. Uh, as you see, it says 2018, but it actually come out in 2019. It came out in the traditional blue um, color that uh, kind of was the uh, uh, staple of the Matchbox uh, I don't know, original 74 or whatever. And uh, so that was the package. Let's take a look at the uh, actual uh, trucks here. That's what that's what we're all here about. <laughs> we want to look at the actual trucks here. All right, so this is what it looks like. This is uh, a uh, callback to the original. It has decals, uh, de decos on the front. Uh, very, very nice. And uh, it's a beautiful, simple blue, uh, enamel blue, and decals on the back. Very, very sharp. Uh, grayish slate colored base. There we have it. 1965 Land Rover Gen 2 Safari. So there we go. We're referencing back to the original. Now, this one does not have an interior. It is a totally blacked out uh, windows on it because ba bam it has a removable part and uh, is if you remember back here that was a warning choking there are small parts not suitable for children under three so it's not considered uh, moving parts but it does have removable parts and uh, there is a whole series and I could tag that video I just did a video not too long ago about the uh, removable parts and what uh, other castings um, share removable parts with this Land Rover so this is a callback uh, to the original and then Matchbox did a um, their own interpretation of what another roof rack would look like. And as well, it is removable. Yes, with the uh, same keys, obviously. So you can uh, just uh, change them out. Um, totally, totally awesome. So 2019 is when that came out. Um, just this year, 2021, we got this bugger right here. Uh, same thing. Let's take a look at the cards here. Uh, changed up the cards just a little bit. Uh, let's just take a look. This is 2019. This is 2021. So they did a little bit different. Uh, and this actually was a new card at that time too. Um, so now they go with a little bit different artwork. Very, very nice. Once again, choking hazard because we have that uh, removable part, but, um, same thing, they went from on the side to underneath, and uh, just a very, very cool jungle scene. It's the Jungle Series, Matchbox Jungle. Um, the first one was uh, Matchbox Off-Road. So uh, here we go, so this is it. We've got a black base now, uh, same um, molding or casting, black base. They put uh, tan wheels on it instead of the black with a chrome like center hubcap which they never did come with hubcaps per se now this one is interesting does not have decals on the front because they put it on the side and this is like a uh, snake hide on the side and if we can zoom in there that's safari x land rover unit three up here 
And then Safari, Jungle Safari on the backs, Jungle Safari X. So really cool. Now, so this is a, a nice tan. I love that tan color. Uh, no, no decals on the back, but a nice green. Boy, it's a bright green uh, removable top. Very, very cool. And of course, that came with a uh, counterpart with the, um, I don't even know, light bar. I think they call this one the light bar uh, removable part. V much smaller than the other one. Uh, but, uh, very, very cool. So in, uh, saying that, ba boom, ba bam, still <laughs> in uh, 2021, we have got this one just came out. I just found these, uh, at uh, Walmart, uh, just the, the other day. And so now we have three of them. <laughs> it took us <laughs> what two years to go from here to here and then from here to here we less than six months uh just unbelievable so i'm trying to pick up both of these um at the same time so then once again they still have the uh light bar and the regular there is again once again a different in the cards this is very interesting um totally totally different uh again um more artsy fartsy which is cool um but it doesn't have you know a series per se uh just a number this is 91 out of 100 um this one does i think this one still does have a number yeah it's 63 out of 100 but uh once again different uh, different kind of thing this is a uh, part of a land rover group versus a jungle group or an off-road group this is the land rover group still call it the 1965 land rover gen 2 and uh nice green color nice green color love it um so we've got them on the card i do happen to have two of them i'm kind of reluctant uh, to opening these but hey we got to do it, right? We got to do it. Uh, we have everything else loose and uh, out in the open, so we might as well do this one too. Uh, hopefully, these are a little bit harder to get a hold of, uh, matchboxes. Um, Hot Wheels um, in their Land Rover um, uh, uh, what are you, licensing are uh, pumping them out fast and furious. Now, I believe Matchbox is um, pumping them out fast and furious to Matchbox standards. All right. Um, why is that? Well, when you go to uh, Hot Wheels at the store, they come 72 to a case. These buggers come 24 to a case, and you'd be lucky if you get two Land Rovers in a set. So here it is. Beautiful. Wow. Back with uh, gray colored base. I think it's a, well, it's a little bit different. I think you could pick up the day, the shade different there. Just a little bit different. Same same wheels as the original uh, with those uh, chrome hubcaps. Uh, nice enamel green. This is a beautiful colored green. Not the British racing green. We're back with the uh, details on the back and details on the front. Awesome, awesome. I like the little bumperettes that they put on there. Somebody did their research to know to put bumperettes on there. Once again, uh, the removable part. Um, this is going to be, uh, if I can get it back in there, same color as the original pretty much. Yep, yep. There is a little shade difference, but, you know, when you're made, uh, you know, two years apart, you know, it's going to be a little bit different. So, all right, well, there it is. Here's the other one. This is the uh, light bar version. Chainsaw, tent, a package, uh, bundle there, and another kind of bedroll thing there, I guess. Uh, very, very awesome. Same identical thing, just with a different top. So there we go. Already we have um, just an excellent, excellent variety of these cars and just a short period of time. So we had to do another recap on this on this uh, uh, model. Yeah, so there you go. If you like this kind of stuff and uh, you're just interested in it, um, 
you know, enjoy it. Give me a big thumbs up. Oh, now that I zoomed in, let's give it a thumbs up. All right, go ahead and subscribe. That's over there. Come on over to Facebook. That's over there. <laughs> Instagram, Roverland channel is over there. Uh, Facebook, Roverland. Uh, just kind of cool. Really kind of cool. Uh, don't mix your green top with your green. You don't wear the same. You don't wear greens together. You're going to get the wrong shades. My sister's taught me that as a lad. Don't wear greens. You could probably put the brown on there, but don't wear greens together because they clash, all right? <laughs> you didn't know you'd get fashion tips on a Land Rover channel, do you? All right, that's it for me today. Thank you for joining me. Uh, taking a look at the 1965 Land Rover Gen 2 here on Rover Land, the channel that's all about anything and everything Land Rover. I'm out of here. I'm your friend Dano with a parting word. Slow traffic, keep right. And have a great, wonderful Rover Day!